or Harry Potter Inspire so. Um I already have my light water solution at room temperature and so are my oils right here I just making sure and uh, for this particular soap we are going to be making this soap with this fragrance from nurture soap I don't have a vanilla stabilizer so this fragrance it will turn my soap really really thin color kind of looking so what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a little bit of my titanium dioxide that I already mixed with my oils early and we're going to be using that. The color that we're going to have is going to be about this color, a little bit darker. So I'm going to try to minimize that. So that's why I'm going to be using the titanium dioxide, okay? And I forgot to connect this. So give me one second. So before you start, Remember to have your gloves and your long sleeve shirt. Have to be nothing fancy. You can have something that you're not using, or it's just to do this stuff around the house because so making it messy. If you haven't seen the the first video I made for the um, embeds, I'm gonna be leaving the um, link in the description below so you can check it out. Okay, so. Let's begin. I'm going to do this real quick and I'm gonna try to take all the bubbles out. And now I'm going to place my light water solution. Really slow, making sure I'm not, and I am spilling a little bit, making sure I don't spill anything on my skin or anything like that. I'm going to put this here in the corner and it's gonna get a little bit loud because I'm about to start stick blending this, okay? I want it to be with a light trace. It looks really creamy and pretty. I'm also using light color oils like cocoa butter, I'm using light olive oil, I'm also using coconut oil, and I'm using tallow, and clear olive oil, so it helped me a little bit more with the, uh, what I want to have for this soap in the end. So now I'm going to grab my two and a half ounces of my fragrance oil, and I'm going to place it on my soap. Pretty easy soap, we're not gonna make any swirls, we're not gonna make anything. Now we're just going to blend. It doesn't seem like it's going to discolor anything, but trust me, it will discolor after the cure time and the soap is been out and with air, you know, for a while. It's amazing, I don't see not even one bowl in there. Okay, so I have a little bit of my oils. I took it out early and I mix it with titanium dioxide. And like I say, I only going to use two spoons of it. Not much, just to help it. And I'm going to stick blend this again. And you can see that it's already look a little bit more white than it was early. Wow, the consistency is amazing. I might have to use a little bit more of my titanium dioxide because for some reason I'm not too, um, what's the name? I don't know. I don't think it's gonna get okay. It looks way better. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do now. Just making sure everything is incorporated on my mixture, which it looks like it is. Okay, so now, Going to stick them a little bit more. Just around 
And it looks perfect to me. Oh, this fragrance oil is amazing. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to grab my mold over here and I'm going to grab a little bit of 91% rolling alcohol. And I'm going to place them there. I'm going to take all the edges of my soap and make sure that I have everything incorporated. It's nothing but to making sure two or three times to make sure that everything is in there. Okay, so now I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to pour. Really, really pretty. Okay. Oh, and like I say, I'm left-handed, so I have to do this like this. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the rest and finish it up with this. Oh, my mixture. Okay, so I'm going to place this here in the corner. I'm gonna do this real quick. Make sure I don't have any bubbles inside my soap. Come on. This sprayer been with me forever, so I don't blame him if he's giving up. And I'm just going to clean the edges of my soap. And I'm gonna leave this for um, 24 to 48 hours. And when I come back, we are gonna cut the soap and we're gonna start placing our embed on our soap okay so i see you guys about in a day and a half <laughs> bye bye hi everyone i'm back it's next day and as you see i already cut my soap and i make a lot of them the reason why i do that is because i do every single one of them one by one and it takes me quite a few time to you know finish them so here you can see in the background it actually looks pretty good I like the color I, I think the color of the soap came out the base color I think the color came out looking really really good um so now I'm just going to show you how I'm placing the rest of the embed you guys know I always use water the same destillate water that you use for your soap not tap water we're not using tap water okay so you got your brush and a little bit of your water you can put in a little container and you grab your the end of the hair and easy we just brush with water and side and carefully we just place where we want it to be and we press until we see the ease settled in and it's not going to move so now we put our hair Now we're going to go with the uh, glasses and once again, you can use a smaller brush if you want to, you don't have to use this big one. And I'm just going to do the same thing. But um, be careful with this part because you already paint your... Um, glasses black if you do no you already paint them and you don't want it to um paint the bottom of your soap because it's white so if you do it's easy to fix it but i just don't like it you just grab 
a small brush with water and you just start cleaning the, the edges but I just don't like it so I just try to be careful so here is our lightning <laughs> and I'm going to grab my small one my small brush and I'm just going to brush my water I think I'm left-handed so I have to turn it this way so you can see what I'm doing there and once again you press you have to press because you don't want it to move you know move this to here so you can see you always uh, you can always go and paint this again just to give it the better touch like I did and all the other ones I'm also using the my golden mica my gold mica and what I'm going to do so I'm gonna grab my 91% rubbing alcohol and I'm going to spray a little bit here and with my small brush again I'm going to grab a little bit of it and it's, this is just to give it character to the soap you don't have to do it but I don't know I think it looks great and I'm just gonna go here to my edge just to give him a little bit of character to the soap okay so we're going to go ahead and finish this here with me since I have you here let's go and finish it up so the soap looks really really good I mean it's have this creamy beautiful um, color that um, really I'm not really into white soaps and you know light color soaps but this one for some reason it just looks beautiful I really really like it I have that beautiful creamy kind of looking color um that I really like I told I'm in a group for soap makers it's a close group for soap makers and um it's for a beginner I mean I, I went to that group when I was only a few months of been making soap so it's for our beginners um so um there and those women make amazing um what's the name amazing soaps is crazy and everybody helps everybody i just love that that group it's really really good okay right now i paint this black so now i'm trying to fix this so this is what i'm telling you you have to grab a little bit of water you might need to use a smaller brush but i have the other one with mica so i have to do this real quick and it disappears you see so i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side hopefully i'll get it real quick yay i got it okay so i was saying i told them yesterday they the soap looks so creamy they look like mashed potatoes because it really really did look like mashed potatoes just gonna grab my rubbing alcohol and get that black out of my gloves okay and now we are in the last of our embed which is our lightning oh his scarf my bar Harry Potter lovers will hang me <laughs> I used to love Harry Potter when I was young. No, not anymore. I mean, I was in love with the, with the um, Harry Potter character. But I was like, what, 11, 12? Now, not so much. Okay, so here I have my gold mica again. And I'm just going to go and give my scarf character. And like I say, you can always paint the black again, so it gives her a better look. And that's it. This was a pretty awesome, 
cute soap to make. Hopefully I won't drop all these. And here he is. That's our soaps. This is my Harry Potter inspired cold process soap. Made with soap dough embeds. Remember, if you haven't seen how I make this, I have a fast video. I will leave in the link below. I think I say early. I will have the link below in the description box so you can go ahead and see it real quick so you can have the idea of how I make this. And I don't have anything else to say, but thank you so much to everyone who's been here today taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe so you can see all my videos as soon as I load them. So thank you guys so much. Bye bye. I'll see you in the next one.